This is the Trey Blocker Show. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Trey Blocker Show. We are at the Inland Surf Park in Austin, Texas, with owner and creator Doug Coors. Uh, Doug, thank you for coming back on the Trey Blocker Show. Absolutely. Love to, love to be here, and thank you for having me. This is quite a treat to be out here this time and in this beautiful it is absolutely beautiful, Place. isn't it? Yeah. We should be in the water, right? <laughs> yes, if we could we could figure that one out, that would be a good that'd be a good next trade blocker show for us. Doug, a lot has changed out here since the last time you were on the Trey Blocker show about a year ago, and I can't wait to talk about those things, but I know that right now somebody watching this podcast just went Surf Park, Texas, what? All right. So tell us what you've built out here. So we started uh, roughly four years ago and started uh, working on a project. It's a, uh, a large surf park. So we have a 14-acre lagoon. It's about 14 million gallons of 15 million gallons of water that we slosh around with the wave foil. Right. We create a six-foot <laughs> wave, uh, open face wave. It lasts over 30 seconds. Uh, it really is a world-class wave once you get on it and start riding it. And then we offer smaller ways at different levels uh, for people to learn how to surf or to uh, up their game from beginner up to uh, advanced surfing out here. So we offer everything in between and uh, that's our f feature focus. We also have a restaurant and a brewery and uh, we're sitting next to a juice bar out here. It's been right. a wonderful place to be in, in the evening in the summer. So I know when I've tried to explain this to people it's hard to explain and it's absolutely difficult to explain the magnitude and the size of it so if we put this in texas terms how would you describe it describe it in in, in the way of football fields yes yeah. so we have it's almost 10 football fields so it's a little okay. over nine football fields of square surface area of water surface area here uh, and that's how we create such a unique uh, surfing environment Okay, that's incredible. And so you've got this pier that runs down the center line of the lagoon. Why is that there? That pier uh, houses our wave generator. It also allows people to get out close to the action and take pictures of their friends or interact with the surfers in the water or just do a nice little stroll um, out in the middle of the water. It's a beautiful place to, to be out there as well. So it's, uh, it serves a few purposes. So for those technically minded watching who really want to know the, the technology beha behind this, how do you create such a beautiful wave? So it, it, to make it simple, we use a chairlift motor attached to a snow plow <laughs> and we drag it through the water and we create a big ball of water that then we reform into uh, different waves that people can surf. Gotcha. And so part of that reformation is how you contour the floor of the lagoon, is that right? Correct. So the, the wave foil along with the motor and the speed and the wind along with the engineering the bottom of the lagoon, we get uh, what, what we can have out here. But it all has to uh, be engineered together, so it's, it's okay. quite a project. To okay. So make. you... I, I seem to recall you've had some professional surfers out here riding this wave, right? We have, yeah. And what, what have they thought? They have a blast out here. Yeah. They think it's a wonderful place to work on skills. You get a nice long ride. Actually, most of them complain about their hips and their legs hurting because they spend so much time above <laughs> the water rather than in the water paddling. So it's, it's, it's a ton of fun. Right. Yeah, it's, a, right. it's a, not a uh, monstrous ocean type of wave that a lot of them go ride. Sure. Uh, but they, they just love every minute of it because it's such a unique venue and so cool to be able to surf in the middle of Texas. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So if, if um, someone listening wants to come out here and surf, do they need to bring their own surfboard? We provide all the equipment. We have everything you need. If you want to show up in your work attire, we can get you outfitted in swimsuit. We can get you outfitted. <laughs> uh, the surfboards come with the surf passes, so okay. those are uh, complimentary. We do have high-performance boards for people who want to try something a little bit, um, uh, maybe a different surfboard than they're normally used to. Uh, we have, so we have everything for people to surf. Right. And, and it's probably worth pointing out, we are in Texas. It is July right now as we're sitting here. It's warm, so no, no wetsuit needed, right? No wetsuits. <laughs> we do in the spring when we open. Uh, a lot of people like to wear wetsuits and in, in the fall when it gets cooler. But right. it's always a real light wetsuit at that point. And, so uh, what's the water temperature right now? 
It's going to run right about 90 degrees in the heat in the middle of the summer, and it, it'll go down to the high 60s in the fall. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, I, I feel like people I've talked to who have never surfed before, they're a little intimidated by the thought of it. And, and in having these conversations, I think it's because they're picturing the ocean. They're picturing these big waves and they're thinking about having to paddle way out and get smacked by these waves coming in. That's not the situation here. So if you've never done it before, how easy is it? So we designed this to learn how to surf for the, for the most part and be able to progress all the way up to uh, a top level type of surfer. And so we've designed the waves here for people who've never surfed to be able to get in the water. We run waves roughly every two minutes and so you're not getting pounded wave after wave after wave. We have uh, uh, an, a discreet visual area for lining people up so you're right. not trying to guess where you need to be in the water. Um, once you wave passes you by, there's not another one right behind it. So you can <laughs> gather yourself, gather your board, get right. back up, right. go try again. Uh, so all the things that make surfing difficult in the ocean are very, very much eliminated here. Right. Uh, but you still get the good experience of riding a wave and the feeling of um, being in the water and riding a wave. And it's all, you know, water's water it's it's fresh water which is a little different than salt water in the ocean sure, sure. Um, it, but it feels nice and it's wonderful and we've accommodated the buoyancy differences in certain ways by running the wave differently than you would in an ocean environment right. so doug i'm quite confident at this point there are people watching this show who have never touched a surfboard in their life but they're thinking i really want to go try this what recommendation would you have for them on how to get started Honestly, the best way to get started is to look into coaching. We do group coaches, private coaching. Our coaches are trained every day and they really know this wave well and they're really excited to get people into surfing. And that's our main goal out here is to give access to surfing to everybody. So we coach everyone um, from five up to 75, 80 years okay. old. Uh, out here, there's a, always a good way to have a good time. But right. Uh, the coaching really helps get you orientated to surfing and uh, knowledgeable about what we're doing out here and it's really the best way to get up and learning sure okay uh, very fast well and one thing i've noticed i think this is important to point out too i've seen groups of mothers out here with kids that are this big right three four five years old and they're learning out there on the on the bay wave um but i've also seen bachelor parties out here and bachelorette parties out here so all kinds of group things you can do out here, right? It's some really great group uh, activities and events, and we, we have that on our website. I will, I have to stop you on the three-year-olds, so though. There's a limit <laughs> of okay. five-year-olds in okay. the lagoon. Gotcha. Uh, so anywhere from five to eight, they have to have a coach with them at all times. Okay. And then Even once they're eight to 14, they can serve with a parent or guardian. Um, on the, as long as they're on the same wave, they have to have different, their own boards. And then once they're 14, they can take off surfing uh, however they want. Awesome. So. But the best time to learn is when you have that low center of gravity, right? That helps. That <laughs> helps. For Just sure. like skiing. Yes. All right. And we're sitting here at a picnic table. I know because I looked before we came down here, it is about 104 degrees right now. But we've got a nice breeze. We've got the sound of the waves behind us. We could almost be in, be in Hawaii right now. Absolutely. This is, uh, it's one thing I will admit that I didn't design into this thing is the breeze. <laughs> uh, this land was uh, overgrown with uh, invasive species of um, cedar and um, thorny mesquite, and mm -hmm. we've cleared out um, for the lagoon and for the surfing. Now, the cool thing is we collect rainwater, so you're not surfing on anything from a well or from um, city water. It's all uh, been done through storm storm sewer collection, stormwater right. collection drains, and recirculated, and, and filtered gets, and recirculated. We filter it, we recirculate it, we treat it, um, so it's very uh, the pH is correct. The um, nothing can live in there in terms of bacteria and other things. Oh, that's something we should point out. No sharks in there. No sharks. No sharks. No alligators. No alligators. No uh, coral reefs to cut yourself okay. on. Uh, but uh, yeah, the, the, it just uh, it turned out wonderful and really right. excited about it. Yeah, and so let's talk about the rest of the property. Remind me how many acres you have out here. 
We, so we have a total of 160 acres. Okay. Uh, so tons of uh, space. Uh, people can spread out and enjoy themselves. You can either right. find a quiet spot in the shade or they can find a, a more uh, fun spot near the bar or up at our brewery or down here where we are at the juice bar. All right. So uh, right up the, up the walk from us is your Blue Prairie restaurant. Yes. Tell us about the concept behind that. So Blue Prairie is designed to be a farm fresh kind of take on uh, Texas food, but with a little bit of surf flair. So we have um, a great ahi poke that I'm um, well aware, very delicious. I would recommend I have everybody try. About that poke bowl. Yeah. <laughs> We've been endorsed by a few <laughs> local Hawaiians that came out to surf. They tasted the poke and they gave it the thumbs up. Nice. So it's it's nice. legit. Uh, we also have uh, burgers and fries. We have great tacos, just a big uh, variety of things, uh, as long from fish, shrimp, um, steak, pork, right, right, chicken. And, and they're not just any fries. I mean, let's be clear about this, Doug. They're <laughs> Parmesan truffle fries. Yeah, they're pretty good. They are really. They're good. pretty good. They are really good. I I suspect. I mean, my two favorite things are on on the menu are the poke bowl and the fries. I just need to mix all that up together. You think that'd be good or no? Well, we should <laughs> talk to our, I'll talk to our chef and see if we can do a Bye. truffle poke bowl special. Yeah, see, there we go, there we go. So further beyond the Blue Prairie restaurant is Inland Brewing Company. Correct. And uh, when did that open? So that opened September of 2017. So last fall we uh, opened the brewery for the first time. We make all of our own beers uh, here at the brewery and that's what we serve all over the uh, site so you can get beer at the juice bar at the restaurant or at the brewery so for anybody not paying attention your last name is Coors correct so you knew something a little bit about beer before you came into this huh I do know a little bit about beer but I am by far the probably the least knowledgeable person in my family when it comes to <laughs> beer gotcha uh, I think I enjoy drinking it as much as anyone else in the family but uh, it was a fun project to actually have to get in dig in learn about it um, right. fine we have a wonderful um, brew master here uh, Todd Henry mm -hmm. he's a local brewer joined us and he makes phenomenal beer and right it's been it's been a lot of fun to have a, a brewery on site and be able to play with different varieties of beers and, right um, where we have a, a launch party, I think, this coming up in a week or so. And on a Sunday night, on the 29th, we're launching our Cerveza Mexican Lager, which is okay. not to die for, I think. Well, and I've been to a lot of breweries. I don't know if I should admit that on camera or not, but I've been to a lot of breweries, a lot of tap rooms. And once you guys got this open, I was amazed that you have 10 beers that you're making on tap. That's amazing, all the way from the cerveza, am I saying that right? Cerveza, yeah. Cerveza, all right. Uh, to the to the porter, so it runs the gamut. I've tried them all, they're all great. <laughs> they are uh, all good. They're yeah. all my favorite. Um, so yeah, I gotta, you know, uh, kudos to your brewmaster because he's doing a great job. I think he does a wonderful job and, and we really take good care of, of our equipment and our beer. We're very, very proud of it. So it's a wonderful place to be. The, the best thing about it is the setting. You're sitting up overlooking the lagoon, right. having the waves come by. Right. We got music, uh, we got fun games to play, just a regular ring toss and um, cornhole and all those kinds of things. So mm -hmm. you can come out and just really enjoy your evening. So a few weeks ago, you were kind enough to let me host a, a private concert with country musician Corey Mora out here, and we had a great time. So oh, thank, you for, for oh, thank you for letting us do that. that. So I suspect fun. we're going to show a, a clip or some pictures of that. Do you have music out here on a regular basis? We do have music every Saturday for sure. Um, on Sundays we usually do a DJ. 
um, and then we have special events and you can check that out on our website uh, we have a special we have an event uh, kind of box on, on our main page that you can go check out all the events coming to Inland and it has the details for you right and there's a regular trivia night correct Wednesday nights Wednesday is night right? is our uh, kind of geeks who drink out here we started <laughs> at 8 o'clock so after the surfing and we have a ton of fun right um, and we do events every Saturday. We have yoga, uh, yoga and surfing. We have events with other uh, fitness uh, clubs around where we bring them out for a okay. a good fitness workout on the beach. And then yeah, so once once I built up, up the, that beer gut the at the brewery, I can come down here do yeah, some absolutely. yoga, do some CrossFit or something. Absolutely, yeah. We have a lot of fun with that. It's uh, usually every Saturday. We do that, and we have uh, Friday. We have uh, evening specials on beer, so come out Friday four to seven and grab try some of our beers out. Right. So, Doug, I'm sure everybody's also wondering, how in the world did you come up with this idea, and why? Why did you build this? Well, I've been a surfer since I was 20. I think 21 years old. I learned how to surf. I loved it. Uh, I became addicted to it like many people do, but I grew up in Colorado and I was determined to figure out a way to bring surfing to people versus people to surfing. Mm. Uh, only because of the limited access that people have to surfing and um, the only way to do that is to be able to build an artificial wave in a pool of sorts and get people out there and, and trying it out. So over the years I've been looking at technology and, and there's been a number of surf pools and surf lagoon startups over the decades. Right. Uh, there's uh, the original one I think in, in Phoenix Big Surf is still operational and they're having surfing out there as well. So it's been fun to investigate the technology and figure it out and we have a wave garden system here that was um, something that people hadn't seen before because we continue to put energy into the wave for 30 seconds which mm -hmm. makes it really a quality wave and, and, uh, and wave garden is a Spanish company they're a Spanish company okay yeah. okay so you you've surfed all over the world we've had we've had this conversation a number of times and and there are a lot of great places what do you have a favorite place other than your own surf park uh, a, a favorite place in the world that that you like to surf I don't think you can beat Hawaii. That's my favorite. It's for me living in Colorado. It's not too long of a flight, and they've right. got a great uh, atmosphere and waves out there. And we actually designed our inside wave after Waikiki Beach, sure, because of the great vibe out there and a great place to learn how to surf. And to me, it was ideal um, from that perspective. And there's a lot of great waves up and down the coast of California. Right. Uh, Spain uh, visited several times. France, San and, Sebastian's fun. Yeah, Mexico's a lot of fun too. They've got great right. waves. Been to Nicaragua, Costa Rica, uh, Costa Rica surf there as well. So there's uh, really a ton of great places to surf. Yeah. And uh, one thing we do out here is we offer an ocean safety course, so people that do learn out here, we can get them at least knowledgeable of the dangers of surfing in the ocean and, and practice a few maneuvers when they right. get here right. so, and be able to understand what they're getting into. <clears throat> you know, that just made me think of something. It's probably worth pointing out to, you know, our fans watching from, from Colorado or California or over on the East Coast somewhere. We are what, about two miles, three miles from the Austin Bergstrom International Airport. So it's an easy flight into here and to get over to the surf park. Yeah, we have, we have quite a people flying here either uh, try and make their flights stay over in Austin, somehow <laughs> make a connection through Austin, and they'll come out here for a yeah. couple hours and surf. We have a lot of visitors from uh, California. We have a lot of visitors from New York, right. Colorado, and Florida as well, kind of our top outside states. Okay, and I, I have seen people actually dragging their luggage through here. <laughs> they so do it, I can yeah. attest to the fact that it's that it's, it's happening. It's wonderful. Yeah, so like we discussed, you, you have a lot of acreage out here. What else do you have planned for the property? We're, we're bringing things in slowly but surely. So we have our, one of our top priorities is to get other water activities, uh, which are not as intimidating as surfing is. Although surfing here really shouldn't it's be intimidating. intimidating. Right. Um, but until you've been here, you would not uh, recognize that. So we want to bring some other activities for people who may not want to surf. Uh, we have tubing in mm -hmm. the channel, so you can slosh around in the water. Right. Uh, but I think bringing some more elements in um, 
to interact with water out here is, is important. Um, it's part of what we're doing. We also are looking at accommodations, uh, maybe some glamping type of things, uh, whether it be a hotel. Um, there's always uh, room for another wave pool. Okay. Uh, eventually, so right. we're RV we, park maybe. We've been looking at RV parks. There, uh, I think there's some other ones coming in the area, so we have to. Uh, respect that and see see what's best for us right right so thinking beyond this particular piece of property any any thoughts plans on expanding to other states absolutely other states other cities within texas i think as well we um we have a lot of we've talked to a lot of different um people different uh, properties different developments uh about what a surf park can bring and what it means and uh, all those things take some time and uh, this is you know one of now two in texas right and um one of i think three in the country and and only two are open to the public so it's it's really early on um and we're uh, hoping to build more a lot of room over time tons of room for growth tons of room for opportunity for different types of waves different types of venues there's a lot of ways to to make it work so I want to wrap this up so we can go get in the water, but um, Cerveza Sunday is right around the corner. So tell us again about that. So we're having a uh, special showing of Step Into Liquid. So okay. those of you who are not surfers, it's a great film. It's a surfing documentary. Um, it's presented by EarthX Films. We're going to do a showing here uh, starting probably starting around 8 o'clock on the July 29th. But all through the day, we'll have activities, we'll have music. We'll have specials, and so yeah, come on out and and have a day with us for uh, Cerveza Sunday. We're awesome. launching our beer and having a good time. Absolutely. So, for everybody completely intrigued and bought into this at this point, where do they need to go? Where can they find you on the on the interweb on the on the internet? To... So the easiest thing to do is type in inland without the i. So n l a n d. Okay. And just hit search, and okay. it'll come up. Uh, InlandSurfPark.com is our uh, URL, and uh, everything on there from booking events, all kinds of information. I would just say if you um, if you have any questions at all or get confused, just go find the number at the bottom and right. give us a call. And you're on Facebook, you're on Instagram, you're on that Twitter thing too? Yes, we're on all of those things. <laughs> okay, very good. Mr. Doug Coors, thank you for coming on the Trey Walker so Show yeah, again. Was... Thank you for doing this and bringing this to Texas. And for everybody listening, check out Inland Surf Park. Come out here and thank you once again for watching the Trey Blocker Show. You can find us at treyblocker.com or your favorite podcast app. Thank you and God bless. This has been the Trey Blocker Show. Please subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app and visit treyblockershow.com to donate so we can keep fighting to restore sanity to this great nation.